Hello everyone. Well, I finally got another camellia, which I was not expecting this year, but uh, I was browsing some websites here in Canada, and uh, a place called Tropic of Canada had um, this camellia plant. This is, uh, if you paid attention to me, my past videos, um, I recently obtained uh, Camellia japonica. This is a different species. It's camellia, but it's called a camellia sinensis, or a tea camellia. So all the tea that is distributed throughout the world, this is a, the exact plant that it comes from, whether it's green or black, or they're just simply processed differently. So I can actually harvest tea uh, from this plant if it does well and survives. Um, I certainly don't plan to. I want it to grow as an ornament, ornamental plant. Um, it's a broadleaf evergreen, just like the Camellia japonica. It will grow really uh, smaller flowers, but little, really pretty little white flowers. There's actually some buds on it. There's a flower bud there, and uh, there's another one. Yeah, there's another one there. So it'll be interesting. They should flower in... Uh, fall, early fall, late summer. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this plant. Didn't expect to have another um, species of camellia growing in my garden because they're very difficult to find in Canada. Uh, this will grow a little larger than the Jap japonica. I mean, apparently this can grow up to 8 to 10 feet and wide as well. Um, I'm a little worried about its cold hardiness. I usually go to Michael Durr's book, um, and when I when I was in college, we used that was kind of like the the Bible of horticulture. Going to see his woody manual of plants, and he placed this at zone six. And now every website that I visited says zone seven A. So uh, we'll see. This is actually um, a cultivar, the most hardy cultivar of uh, teak mealy you can get. It's called sake. So uh, hopefully that will. Uh, Give me a little bit of leverage for cold hardiness. Uh, I'm definitely going to protect this uh, without a question. But uh, just a really cool plant. So hopefully, hopefully it does well. I'll, I'll make an update maybe late summer, definitely in the spring, uh, and we'll see how this thing actually survives in uh, my climate, which is USDA Zone 6A in Kilbride, Ontario, Canada. So uh, we shall see. I've got it placed in pretty dark shade. Originally, this spot was where I planted my uh, Camellia japonica, uh, but it was struggling. It wasn't doing very well, so I, uh, I think it was a, a lack of sun. It's actually in really heavy shade in this area, so I planted the japonica one in a much uh, sunnier location. Still a lot of shade, but sunny, and it's actually already done well, much, much better over the last few days. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Camellia japonica. We're here to talk about... Camellia sinensis. So, uh, yeah, cool plant. And uh, I'll give some updates later on. Thanks.